everybody, welcome back to Vikings Connected. That's Chris Hockey. My name's Aaron Newberg, and it is time for the Viq test. Yeah. Who do we have this week? Well, this week we have one of the contenders, I think, for smartest guy on the team. Oh. We're about to find out. It's big country himself, Kyle Rudolph. Welcome back to the most popular game show in the entire universe. This is the Viq test on the Vikings Entertainment Network. All your emails, your calls, your letters, your cries, your tears, it worked. Kyle Rudolph is here. It's good to see you, man. Thanks, Hawk. Good to thanks see you, Thanks for coming too. in. Uh, no, thanks for having me. Uh, your Wonderlick test, do you remember how'd you do? You know, I don't know. Don't even know. That's probably a good thing. Yeah, yeah, right. I feel like when you know your Wonderlick score, it was either extremely high, which I'm willing to guess mine was not. Okay. Um, but the other is if it was extremely low. Right, yeah. Uh, so I don't, I'm just assuming that was average as most of my grades were all my life. Why not, yeah. Um, so. Today's the day you bloom. Yes. This ViQ test is gonna be your thing. Now we've had a lot of players in here and they've done pretty well. Let's take them out, you ready? Absolutely. Let's do this. The University of Notre Dame has how many Heisman winners total? Is it 20? Seven or three? Twenty-seven. Well, I was not one of them. No, no this much. I missed it by that much, man. Missed it. It's all right. Um, but I believe that answer is B, seven. Final answer? That is my final answer. You are correct. Good way to start. Thank good, you. Good. Thank did, you. Uh, did you play with any of the Heisman winners? I'm trying to... I did not. Our last Heisman winner was 1988, so Tim Brown. You missed him by I that just much. missed him. Just missed him yeah. by that much. Well, yeah. oh, Tim Brown, man. What a player that Absolutely. guy was. Absolutely. All right, now this one hurts me a little bit in my soul <clears throat> because, uh, well, we'll get to it. What regional dish is beloved in Cincinnati but universally hated by everyone else? Skyline chili, poutine, or pit beef? I mean, it has to be poutine or pit beef because you can't possibly hate skyline chili. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna say A, Skyline Chili, because I it is so beloved by me, I just don't understand how it's hated by everyone else. The only thing better than Skyline Chili is the tiny hot dogs with the Skyline Chili on it, and then the mound of cheese that looks like a sunrise out of Hawaii or Absolutely. something. Absolutely. It's delicious. I agree. I wanna disqualify this question. I, I, well, let's count it as a right answer and just move on. They, they don't know what we're talking about. It's uh, Skyline Chili itself is spaghetti with this delicious sugary chili on it. That's the three way. The three way. Yes. Yeah. And as much cheese as you could possibly get. Yes. Uh, Great analogy with the sunrise over the Hawaii. Sunrise. Yeah, it's perfect. Right. I miss it. I miss it. Dayton, Ohio, when I went to college. Yes, absolutely. We had, uh, I'm sure you had many trips uh, uh, in the morning to Skyline. Where does the sun set? The east, the west, or it does not set because the earth is flat. Yeah. Have you had Stefan Diggs in here yet? Yes. Did he answer that the earth is flat? I'm not allowed to say. No, oh, because he should have, because he believes the earth is flat, <laughs> but clearly the sun sets in the west. You are correct. Oh, thank you. When you have somebody in the locker room who, whether they're joking or not, believes the earth is flat, what do you say to them? Uh, at that point, there's not, not much to say to them. Your nickname of Big Country comes from what popular sports podcast, The Wobcast. Oh, great podcast. Yeah, great podcast. Yes. The Bill Simmons podcast. Good one as well. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Pardon My Take. Yeah, Pardon My Take. I'd have to put that up there with the best podcast. Right. Not only because they have given me the nickname of Big Country, right. but C, Pardon My of Take. Of course, yeah, you're yeah. going with your final answer, Pardon Absolutely. My Take, C, and of course you are correct. You hold the record for most TDs by a tight end in Vikings history. Who currently ranks second? Man, that's some great tight ends on this right, list. Right, right. And Dave Morgan. Yes. Sunny days that I thought would never end. David Morgan, <laughs> Jim Kleinsasser, <laughs> or Steve Jordan? Oh, it's C, Steve Jordan. But that, that's awesome to see those other two names. Yeah. I, mean, I played with Sauce, huh. one of the best in the business, and, and Dave's just just behind in the touchdown total, so yeah, he'll right. get there. Yeah, he will, he will. Uh, a great long snapper as well. Uh, yes, absolutely. But you are correct, Steve Jordan. 
Uh, Jim Kleinsaucer, first of all, what a guy, right? The best. Love that guy. What a player. Yeah, phenomenal. The most intimidating man I've ever known. But the nicest man in the world. Nicest guy ever. Yes. But I know that he's just this close to snapping and killing me. Just this close. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Right, right. And you know he could kill you too. That's he the, could yeah. look at me, I think, and just go like that. And yeah. I'd crumble to the ground. This one has, I'm not going to lie to you, this one's tripped some people up. Yeah, this is science. I this don't... one's science, yeah. What are DNA strands held to each other by? Lipids, glucose, or hydrogen bonds? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Well, uh, I'm not sure. See, what, what in most multiple choices, you have four answers and they always tell you, you go B or C. For sure. Um, but when you just have three, does that mean you go, you go? B? Um, I'll go B, glucose. You thought about you thought about switching there at the end. I you? did, I'm gonna go with B, glucose. And you were gonna switch to what though? What was the other choice gonna be if you were gonna switch from B? What were you gonna go to? Maybe A, You're gonna lipids. Go a. Well, be glad you didn't switch because that would have been wrong too. Okay. It's actually hydrogen, hydrogen. bonds. Yes, oh, okay. I know. That one. That's the toughest question of all of them on, on the ViQ test, period. I didn't even know yeah. what a hydrogen bond was. All I can think about is the scene in Mighty Ducks where they're in <laughs> the chemistry class and they just start throwing all of the molecules everywhere. I didn't do well in, in I, chemistry. So. I'm never going to know why Mighty Ducks didn't win the Oscar that year. One of the great movies of all time. Absolutely. How many championships did MJ win with the Chicago Bulls? Now, in case you're watching at home, Michael Jordan is who they're uh, referring to. Uh, Chicago Bulls, uh, A, 5, B, 6, or C, 4? Uh, that answer is B, 6, and he was the finals MVP in all six of them. Unbelievable. Yeah, incredible. Obviously, you're correct. B6. Uh, th the question we debate far too often for people who don't really care that much about sports on the Power Trip Morning Show, mm -hmm. uh, Kobe, LeBron, or Michael? Who you take? Greatest uh, all time. It's, it's Michael. It's Michael. I mean, that's something that'll never be touched. Jordan is the GOAT for a reason. Greatest There's only time. one. Absolutely. Well, you have... Uh, um, You've, you've basically come in here and made this game your B word. Oh, thank you. Now we have a, an extra credit question. In case yeah. you tie with somebody, uh, we have to have this, right? Mm -hmm. So basically it's like that thing where you got the gumballs or the jelly beans in the jar and you say, I need to know exactly how many, if you get the exact number right, you win the jar. Yes. Obviously we are in the state of lakes. Absolutely. They call it the state of 10,000 lakes, but Correct. it's not exactly 10,000 lakes. So we're going to ask you to give us an exact number, and that's going to be the way that we have the tiebreaker here. Perfect. So I need an exact number of legs. Uh, is this Price is Right rules where if you go over, you lose? No. No. Closest period. I know it's 12,000 something, and I don't know what, what that exact number is, but so we'll go right in the middle. Okay. And we'll go 12,500. 12,500. Yes. That's a very, very good answer. You're very close. Went out a little bit over, but I think that bit. might have been enough to make you the closest person yet. Well, you said prices right rules weren't in effect. They aren't if in they effect. were, I would have gone 12,000 knowing that that is not over. Before we started this game, you said, uh, can I phone a friend? And mm -hmm. then you realized you didn't have your phone. What friend would you have phoned? Uh, I would have called Adam Thielen and certainly hoped that he knew this answer. Uh, yeah. Um, that would have been a mistake. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. That's no. embarrassing. I believe he thought it was three. And he's from here. 3,000. No, three, period. He thought there were three lakes. How many lakes are in Detroit lakes? Yeah, right. Yeah. He wasn't having a good day. Do you know what the actual number is? 11,400 right in there? Lakes. Yeah, lakes. So you got really close. Yeah. I think uh, I think you killed it here. Congratulations. Thank well, thanks for having me. Thanks for coming to play. Absolutely. This one a little better than my ACT, so that was good. Let's go get some chili. Absolutely. Thanks, thanks Hawk. Kyle Rudolph, everybody.